Hi, Neil Comparetto here with Comparetto Comfort Solutions, and today I'm going to show you how to make this DIY box fan air cleaner in my DIY studio. Hopefully the rain will hold off. Um, before we do that though, let's go over some of the features that makes this uh, box fan air cleaner a little bit different. So it's, it's a standard box fan that we can get at any hardware store, but it has four filters instead of one, and it has a cardboard base, base so it's installed in a vertical position. So why four filters instead of one? Well, whenever you have um, a box fan and you impose a restriction, which a filter is, an airflow restriction, the amount of air that it moves dramatically drops. So by having four filters instead of one, we have a lot more filter surface area and we're able to move a lot more air and filter a lot more air. So I installed it in a vertical position um, and that's so that if there are any um, pollutants or anything on the floor that we're not disturbing it, you know, letting it stay. So a lot of, I see a lot of fans that are um, installed uh, horizontally so they can kind of just blow um, any of those on the floor and reintroduce them into where we're going to be breathing. And also what's nice about this fan, it doesn't require uh, an additional base. So if the fan, the filter is the base itself. So you just um, take it where you need it, um, put it down and plug it in. Um, and it's, it's that simple. So that's what makes this one a little bit different from others that I've seen. And let's go ahead and uh, rewind and I'll show you how we got to this point. You'll need is a 20 by 20 box fan. Uh, what you have to do is pay uh, attention to where the speed control, the on off is. We're going to be attaching the filters to the suction side. So make sure that this control is not um, on the back side. You'll be needing four 20 by 20 by two MERV 13 air filters. You'll need a box, just a, a large uh, piece of cardboard, something that's larger than 21 by 21 and a half. You'll need some kind of tape um, using this uh, duct tape. Uh, other types of tape will work, I guess, depending on how much you'll be moving this around, how durable you want it. A tape measure, some type of knife to cut the cardboard, a square to help um, when you cut the cardboard to lay it out, a marker again for the cardboard and, and cutting it out, and I have this tape squeegee which is uh, optional, not necessary, but nice to have. First what we want to do is cut out the cardboard box. So to know the dimensions, we'll measure the filters. It's going to be 21 and a half by 21 and a half. Let's go ahead and set these aside. Now I've already made a few uh, of these, so this is not necessarily ideal, the uh, handle. So what we'll do is we'll just put a couple pieces of tape over it. Let's see, this is a this is uh, square enough for our purposes. So we'll just go off of that. I believe this box is 22 by 22, so it. It uh, fits well for what we're trying to do. So measure at 21 and a half, 21 and a half. Try not to drop your marker. And go ahead and make a straight line. Now we're gonna have another dimension, uh, 21 and a half by 21 and a half. This is nice. Um, a nice guide. Find that cardboard boxes are remarkably square. So we'll just go ahead and just 
cut along that line. First time is just to score it, second time is to cut through. It's important to have a, a sharp knife. Your cardboard will dull a knife rather quickly, so I would not use, you know, if you have a nice pocket knife or something, I would try not to use that. All right, so now we need to go 21 and a half in this direction. All right, now we have our platform, our cardboard platform cut out. We are done with the marker, we are done with the knife, we are done with the tape measure, and we are done with the square. What I like to do whenever I'm doing something like this, uh, taping stuff together, I like to make several tabs just to kind of hold stuff together for me. So we'll make roughly do eight of these or so, and uh, it'll it'll serve as like a helping hand. All right, you want to also pay attention to the direction of airflow. So the direction of airflow is this way. This is going to be the outside of the filter box. And when you line these up, we're going to do, they're going to stagger. I don't have a better term for it than that, but it's going to be like, this. So it's going to be 21 and a half by 21 and a half square. So you just want to make sure this is lined up. I'm kind of putting significant amount of downward pressure on it and I'm also pulling it together here and then we'll just get a, a piece of tape just to, to hold it in place. Just rotate it. Now pay attention over here. So you do not want it like this, for instance, where they're both on the outside. You want it staggered. Again, same thing, downward pressure, pulling it in. Get a piece of tape to hold it. Rotate. And this one will line up. Like that. Okay, so now we have our box. And what we need to do is just go ahead and finish taping all four, all these sides together to um, give it some strength and to prevent any air from bypassing.
if you have a squeegee, this is where you would go ahead and use it. Uh, tape is pressure sensitive, so this does actually help it to stick. Okay, it's taped together. Now we can install the base. It doesn't matter uh, which side it goes on. One side will have the base, one side will have the fan. Just wanna make sure it's lined up relatively well. And what I like to do is just have a little bit of overlap on either side on these corners, about a half inch to an inch. Try to get the tape somewhere in the middle-ish. This will be the base, so if at all possible, try to keep this part, um, the, ex the excess tape from being on this part, um, give it a more stable base. There you go. The base is complete. Notice all the arrows are facing in because air is gonna come in and then go up. Now we're ready for our box fan. Again, it's very important that we attach this filter box to the suction side of the box fan. Easiest way to tell that is to plug it in, turn it on and see which way the air is going. So we want the air to go this way. line the box fan up. As you can see, this fan fits very well uh, to the footprint of th this filter box. And again, we can use some of these tabs if you have any extras to just kind of hold it in place. you just got a shot into the garage it's a disaster um, so these corners what I try to do is uh, get a piece and not worry about taking care of the corners with this piece
And for this model right here, we have to kind of navigate the cord. And so what I've, do, I've been doing is just kind of take, uh, take note of where it is, rip the tape a little bit, and then kind of get the tape around it. and then go back with a piece over it. You're also gonna to wanna to take care of these holes. Uh, it's just air bypass. Not the end of the world, but why not? Now we can do our corners. What you want to do is get a piece, you know, six inches or so. Get two pieces. Double them up. And then go ahead and apply it. Make sure you work it in nice and good. So we'll go ahead and make three more of these. There you go, all done. As you can see, it's pretty durable. It's pretty stable. And uh, it has lots of filter surface area. Okay, it's that easy. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you found this useful and I'll see you on the next video.